Good morning, crypto fans from around the world. I've got three stories to share with you and the market is green and this is super important. Why? Well, let's get in the news and talk about it. We're gonna start it off with the heat map and it's super important because I want you to keep this price action in mind as we go through these next stories. Super excited today. Bitcoin's in at 21,045, ETH at 1553. XRP highlight of the show, that's right. I've got court case information for everyone sitting at 39.03 cents, up 1.2% last 24 hours. XLM, other friend of the show, sitting at 8.3, up 1% last 24 hours. Crypto lender Genesis files for bankruptcy protection. That's right, think of all the other times before that we've heard about bankruptcies in this space and what it's done to the heat map. Well, didn't have any effect to it. That's right, everyone. That's because we all knew about this action coming. We were just waiting for the official announcement. It's good to see that the crypto market is puffing up its chest saying, yo, you can't stop us today. Crypto lender Genesis Global Capital filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in New York early Friday morning. That's today. That's why you hit the subscribe button so you're caught up with the news. Marking the latest business in the industry to file for bankruptcy is the fallout from last year's collapse in crypto prices continues to ripple through the market. Now, we do not have all of the numbers in just yet, but listen to these estimates. The filing estimates the firm has between 1 billion and 10 billion in assets and between 1 billion and 10 billion in liabilities with more than 100,000 estimated creditors. As soon as the exact numbers come out, I will be sure to share it with you because we need to actually see how big of a hole is there to fill. Now, the reason this story is big is for two reasons. Number one, Obviously, the market's still green, so let's feel good about that. But the other big thing about this story is that no one out there wanted to step in and help them out. They have been asking for money for months and months and months and months. And anyone in the know, anyone that took a look at their books was like, oh, gross, we can't touch that. So at least we now have one big negative event that's been looming over crypto heads over with and guess what it had zero effect on the market speaking of zero effect on the market and i'm gonna say i told you so why nexo reaches landmark resolution with u.s regulators and as always any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below Yes, here we go. Nexo has reached a final landmark resolution with US SEC and the North American Securities Administration Association consisting of all 50 US states and three territories, the AG of New York and Texas Department of Banking and Washington Consumer Services Division and Alaska Division of Banking Securities. Look at all those alphabet agencies that wanted a piece of Nexo. Let's slide on over to Nexo's tweet and read about the action. Nexo has reached final landmark resolution with the US and other other agencies. Characteristic settlements are as this. The settlements are a no admit, no deny basis. The sole allegation was that Nexo's earn interest product was an unregistered securities offering. Yes, everyone. I don't know what else you need right now to determine what the biggest thing that the SEC is going after. Things that offer you a yield. So if your program that you're interested in and that you participate in has a yield to it, or you earn interest from giving someone your crypto, unregistered securities plain as day as we've seen it time and time again that that is what the SEC has been going after and we've been talking about it non-stop here on the channel I've even been giving y'all warnings saying hey if your protocol earns interest in yield you might want to be careful this closes the multi-year long inquiries into Nexo which is a good thing federal regulators do not contend that Nexo engaged in any fraud or misleading businesses practices which is really good or that Nexo customers have been harmed or misled about their financial health great news as well so again this is just about offering yield when it comes to crypto products, all right? Nexo believes that the company has been recognized for what it truly is, a pioneer like Uber, Airbnb, providing disruptive solutions in a fast-paced environment. This is the key, everyone, and this is why we need the regs, and Nexo knows what's up, as innovators do not quite fit into existing provisions. Constructive dialogue for the enhancement of prevailing regulatory frameworks is of paramount importance. Right now, the regs are outdated and archaic, and that's what Nexo is saying, saying, hey, look, we are willing to play, but yo, your regs just don't make any sense. And how big were the penalties for Nexo? Ooh, pretty big, everyone. SEC finds Nexo 45 million in penalties. The SEC maintains that Nexo offered an unregistered earned interest product to U.S. investors in June 2020, costing 22.5 million in penalties and an additional 22.5 million in fines to regulators. 
as a result of the charges, Nexo has ceased offering the EIP and will go further to stop offering its services in the United States. This is from Gary Gensler himself. SEC Chair Gary Gensler stated, We charge Nexo with failing to register its retail crypto lending product before offering to the public, bypassing essential disclosure requirements designed to protect investors. Compliance with our time-tested public policies isn't a choice. Where crypto companies do not comply, we will continue to follow the facts and the law to hold them accountable. In this case, among other actions, Nexo is ceasing its unregistered lending product to all U.S. investors. All right, so like I said, I know it's bad if you're into Nexo, but this is really good news here because look, the market is super green, everyone. So the little FUD story we had about the DOJ and their crypto junk out there, now you've got Genesis going down, you've got Nexo with a really big fine. The market's holding strong, Bitcoin above 21, right? Our favorites are still in the green. But now on to the story about patience being key. And that's one thing that my wife is not good at, everyone. She is not a patient lady, and I hope to God you are. Why? Because Ripple versus the SEC XRP holders rejoice on the latest scheduling update. Here's why. According to the most recent updates by James K. Filan in the ongoing Ripple SEC lawsuit, all motions are now fully briefed, and the judge's decision is is awaiting yes everyone procedural stuff is over and now it's time on to the big thing that we've all been waiting for as motions for summary judgment and those to exclude expert testimony have now been fully briefed omnibus motions to seal materials relating to the summary judgment have also been filed by both parties. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, raised the possibility that the SEC's official email may include some damning information at the WF in Davos. Bill Hinman, a former SEC employee, said in a lecture in June 2018 that Ethan Ethereum was not a security. Told you everyone that people in the know that it was Ethereum is not a security. So what is the big action right now? Well, filan has got it up on the screen. Everything is briefed. Now we wait patiently. And for those of you out there that are not patient waiters, not good at waiting, this is going to be a rough time because Brad Garlinghouse and others in the know have said, you know what? We expect a resolution within the next single digit month. They're hoping for the first half of 2021, but some people out there are saying, hey, this may take up to the third quarter of 2023 for us XRP holders to finally hear from the judge, hey, what is gonna be happening to Ripple Labs and XRP? Now I gotta admit, I'm totally excited about this news and some of you out there are gonna be like, oh, this isn't anything to be excited about with Genesis going down and Nexo getting that ass tax. But no, seriously, think about what we just saw over the last few days. The announcement of an announcement by a DOJ Treasury Department thing sent that crypto market down, down, down. We started working our way back up. Then we get dealt with two nasty blows within 18 hours and the market's like, yo, girlfriend, I got this. That's right. We're still maintaining those green candlesticks. And remember, this is all after positive CPI data that came out mid-month. The rally has continued since then, which now leads us to the next big thing what Jerome Powell and the Fed are going to do. A 25 basis point or a 50 basis point hike. The 25 will let the markets keep on moving the way up. A 50 though will stop that action. We'll be like, yo girlfriend, you ain't doing this in my backyard. I made a video about Jerome Powell, specifically the 25 and 50 basis point hit. That's this right here. This will give you further insight on what to expect and if he's gonna drop that 50 or the 25. Thank you very much for watching and the various levels of support for this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Until more news breaks, you cool cats, have a great rest of your day. A green day.